This has been the story of Maddie Schmidt's day. This into the opening par four, just a wedge. Beautifully struck, used the spin, and that would be an opening birdie. Now this is his third, but the par five second. Just a little nudge down the hill and let it run like a putt. Get it on the ground as quick as possible. And that was very tidy work. I like that. Drive a car with a handbrake on. I did that for a lot of my tournaments. Yeah, nice. Jeff Winter to minus nine and a share. Well, this is Adrian Aus, who's smashed it up the 18th. One eight one left. At nine under par. In a share of the lead. Oh, what a shot. Well, he will have that to get the ten under. We've had nobody at ten under yet. He's a strong looking player, Co, isn't he? This one's hit very high. Oh, fabulous. Best we've seen from young one Co. What a tee shot at four. Oh, this one, little right to left down the hill. Yeah, never anywhere else, was it? What a super stroke from Jeff Winter. And we do have somebody finally at minus 10. Beautiful little hole, this. Lovely water feature on the right hand side. Mark Rowe wants to go down there and picnic. And right now, Richard Mansell isn't going to join him. He's going to carry on making birdies. He's made four of them in his last six holes. And that's moved him into second place. Off a slopey lie here again the ball above his feet pin in the back left corner of this green so the slopey line might help him draw it towards it but we don't want to overdo it a bunker lurks just behind it to the left oh and he's sorted out extremely well hasn't he that's a wonderful shot from winter he looks like he means business today saw a couple of big ones hold here yesterday Well, should be good enough for uh, Bird. Nicely done. He moves to 10 under, 3 under through 6 holes. That's exactly the sort of start he would have been looking for. Well, Tim mentioned it. The fact he doesn't mind going low. He just, that's, that's why. Look at that. What a run. Yeah, I quite like that, in all honesty. It, it, it does keep you very centred, Tim, doesn't it? As you say, keeping your head still so important in the game of golf. That's OK. That's uh, going to putt that, for sure. And that's very makeable. Many of the tour pros have told me they played alongside him and they were surprised almost he's not out here alongside them because he was a terrific player. Yes! Well, as we thought, putter from the fringe and nonchalantly hold, and he's... Looking very excited about that birdie. Well, he didn't. He had eyes for the pin. It was a brave one. He did not said any sort of misjudgment there, and you're into the bank short of the green. It's a long drive, but just straight off into the right-hand rough. Looks like a decent light. Just 96 yards to go. Just losing that little bit of control coming out the rough. Wasn't able to attack that front flag from there. But he's going to have to use all of his talents here. It is a big break from right to left. Oh, that is superb from Matty Smith. 12 under par. What a front nine he's had. Well, hit a nice little easy one. Take some spin off it. Well, he's gone for <coughs> spin, so it should be landing beyond the pin. And is, and there's the spin. Beautifully judged, tremendous shot. Setting up an excellent chance for a birdie. How would he have somehow tried to play it and, and get it out online? But that really probably was an impossibility. And Diego makes his second birdie of the day after a quality approach there into 10. Two under, moves to 11 under, one behind. He's managed to do, get his job right for next year sewn up, so he's trying to relax and enjoy himself, and he certainly looks like it out here today. Just right to left, down the slope. Yeah, good try. Yeah, he's done everything that he should do. He's given it a chance. He's got it past the hole. 
Straight, firm, in. Lovely. Six birdies, no drop shots out there today for Jeff Winter. Manny Schmidt, great tee shot down the middle of the par 5 12th. Long iron into the, the green for his second. Oh, it's all over the flag. What a golf shot that is. A great eagle chance for Matt Schmidt. I like the tempo of that stroke. Smoothly back, slight acceleration through the ball. A lot down to the fact the flag position is tucked right over on the right side. Yeah, there's actually some of the worst rough on the course just off that right side and behind the flag as well. And I think the players are aware of that. And they know if they go at that flag and make a small mistake, they could easily make five at the hole. Winter up the hill at 14. Oh, it's another cracking shot from Jeff Winter. He is absolutely on fire today, this guy. Six under par with a putt to go eight. And a man who earlier in the year, as Dominic said, was thinking about packing it up. We're glad he didn't. Because he can produce moments of magic like this right out of the middle of the bat. And that, for me, is his shot of the day. Takes over from the one that Mark liked at the seventh. Adrian Moronk for a closing birdie. This for a round of 65. Hurry, hurry. Good effort. And a good day. That name will be looming large on the leaderboard, won't it, tomorrow? Guys are aware how well he closes out tournaments, what a quality player he is. Great support, Adrian. Toe and shoulder line suggest he's going to try and ease this one in from left to right. Not sure he's got the fade spin. Oh, he has. Fantastic shot. Matty Schmidt, he goes about it so casually that you stand up and think, how good could that be? But it's absolutely down the flag. Fantastic. Well, he couldn't have had a better read, could he? From Scribner. And he's got it. That's a wonderful eagle. That is so richly deserved, and he takes the lead. Yes, a horrific eight at the last par five. Can he make amends here with a lovely eagle three? Come on, Louis. Oh, and maybe he can, absolutely right down the flag. Five feet short. Come on, Louis, we're pulling for you. Now, fingers crossed, let's hope that uh, Louis de Yaga can bounce back with an eagle three here after that horrible run, a triple bogey at 12, another drop shot gone at 13, but it is the three there, so back to nine under, and that shows a bit of uh, character, doesn't it? A bit of gut. Well, a great view of what he's got, uh, just not coming back enough. But that has been a superb golfing day. For the Dane, he'll tap that in, and that is a faultless round of 65, 14 under par going into Sunday. How would you be playing it, Mark? Well, let's just watch him first, because these are the shots that he's always struggled with, and I've got to say that is as good as anybody in the world could have played it. And I think what he's doing out of the bunkers there is exactly what he should be doing because he was so inside. Well, a taking at 17 has an idea of the uh, line and the pace because he's seen Coe's putt. And he's made a pretty good job of it himself. Oh. Fantastic putt from Adrian Otegi. He needed that one. He was having a quiet day at 10 under. Needed to make inroads into the lead and has done exactly that. It's come to life. Yes! What Excellent. a comeback. Yeah, well, that is a great fight back. What isn't it? a fight back. That is brilliant. 
absolutely sensational up and down for around a 65. Well done, Matty Schmidt. Can't be missing it right like Diago, though. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, it's a great shot. That's the best of the day. Otegis was wonderful. That is just scintillating. Get in! <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Almost identical to yesterday. Bird is at 16 and 17. Oh, OK. Well, there you go. Two birdies all day, two in the last group, one from Ategi, one from John Wong. So he's alongside Matty Schmidt, a winter with a chance to win for the second time on the DP World Tour. Schmidt looking for a breakthrough victory for Ategi, or be a successful defence and a fifth DP World Tour victory. Matty, fantastic 65 out there today. Give us a view of your day. Yeah, started off good, really good. Two birdies on one and two. Um, yeah, just played really good golf. Um, just one one bogey, which happens really. I mean, the rough is really unpredictable here, so uh, you get those flyer situations. And um, now played really solid tee to green and, and made some nice putts too. Talk us through that bunker shot, that sand save at the last. That was pretty special to finish the day. Yeah, no, that was really good. I got uh, not a great lie off the tee then at bunker, like really close to the lip. So I needed, needed to go really high. Um, pulled it then. I um, was hoping it's not plugged in the bunker. So I was kind of relieved that I had the lie I had. You know, just took a 52 out and gave it a big swing. And yeah, it worked out good. Now, you, a win tomorrow, but your first win on the DP World Tour, it will also mean you keep your card. You get a card for next season. How much would that mean to you tomorrow? Yeah, it would mean a lot to me. I mean, um, yeah, I'm fighting uh, for both cards right now on both tours. So, um, yeah, yeah, I need to, need to keep grinding. I got a few more chances, and tomorrow tomorrow's a big one. But, yeah, one shot at a time. Well played so far, Matty. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.